We have some great news. The wheels have been set into motion around the world getting crews finally back up and running after almost a year of no sailing. We have this and loads of cruise news from all of the biggest cruise lines. Well, well ahoy there, cruisers. Welcome to this week's Cruise News Roundup. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. We've got some great news for a change. It looks like Cruise is finally on its way back. First up, some ships are starting to welcome back their crew. A few of the Carnival ships, the Carnival Breeze and Carnival Horizon, have already made their way to Miami. They welcomed brand new crew on board in the Caribbean last week. A Norwegian cruise line have even launched an ad campaign, the first since the cruise lockdown began, which is a great sign. The campaign is called Break Free. And I think some people really need to break free and go on a cruise. It's encouraging people to forget 2020, yes please, and do all of the things they missed next year. It's really exciting to see this finally happen. Yes, and that ad campaign keeps following me around the internet now. I keep getting it on every video on every website. The UK is also looking to get back to cruising too. The UK government is looking at easing guidelines against cruising. It will begin with UK itineraries for UK passengers only. This looks like it could happen early 2021 with international cruising resuming in spring. MSC and Norwegian are also working with the Port of Southampton to open a brand new sparkling cruise terminal next year. This is a great sign for cruising in the UK and the sign of things to come. Yeah, and it's uh, it's quite nice to see other cruise lines other than the Carnival brands really investing in the UK. Um, so it seems like there's going to be a long-term future for MSC and NCL in Southampton. Yeah, two of our favourite cruise lines, so we're super excited about that. The German cruise line, Aida, is back and will be offering cruises to the Canary Islands in Spain at the beginning of December. Aida is a Carnival Corporation company and is Germany's leading cruise operator. It's really great news to see this happening. It feels like there's a lot happening now in cruise and there's light at the end of this tunnel. Yeah, elsewhere in the world, MSC have also been given approval to sail in Japan. It's the first international cruise line to receive this approval. They're hoping to restart cruises there by April 2021. Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas will also restart cruises next week from Singapore. Rehearsals have already started of some of the shows on board and it will be the first Royal ship to sail with passengers for over eight months. How crazy, crazy is that? Crazy is that. That is crazy. <sighs> Ah, sorry, oh, to hi guys. sorry to interrupt the video there, but we've got some important information from our fantastic sponsors at Babbel. Yeah, Babbel are the world's number one language learning app and we love them. We use them all the time. Yeah, we've used loads of different apps before and tried learning at classes in different ways and nothing really has worked for us. But we have to say Babbel is so intuitive. It's really easy to use and it teaches you the actual words in the language that you need to know. And the best thing about Babbel is you can learn wherever you are and on the go like we are right now. You know how bad we are at languages, but it's going to be great to know our bonjours from our holas to our Cebu players. We, oui, Yes, it is. Babbel is unique and different to other language learning apps because it helps you focus completely on learning the new language as there's no adverts on the app at all. Just 15 hours of use on Babbel is the equivalent of a whole semester at college. And just imagine how much that would cost. This is so much quicker easier and more handy because you can learn anywhere. And because we found Babbel so fantastic, we've decided to partner with them and they're offering you, our lovely subscribers, 50% off a six month membership. But this is a limited time offer only. So get clicking that link in the description section below. And with 10 million subscribers, how can they be wrong? Well, 10 million and two now. Oh yeah. The news of vaccines has also provided a much needed boost for cruising. Many of the cruise line's stocks have risen due to the news of the vaccines. It's a welcome boost as all lines are bleeding lots of money with no passengers on board. As this becomes very close now, it's only a matter of time before things get back to normal. As you know, some airlines are acquiring a vaccine before travelling. Will this be the same for crews? We just don't know yet. 
But what do you feel about this? Would you have a vaccine just to be able to cruise? It really feels like the momentum for cruising to begin is really starting to happen. And the best thing of all is that cruising is going to be super safe when it returns. It already was one of, if not the safest forms of transport before COVID. But we can all be very safe in the knowledge that going forward, the protocols are going to be super tight. Plus, fellow passengers are much more conscious of health and safety. This means that cruises will be some of the safest places on earth to be. So in some not so great news, the CDC have elevated its warning not to cruise. They have changed their warning to level four, very high. This comes just a few weeks after the CDC lifted their cruise ship ban. So the CDC has said people should avoid travel on cruise and river ships because passengers are at an increased risk of spread from the virus from person to person. If you do go on a cruise, you should get tested three to five days after your trip and stay at home for seven days after travel. Even if your test is negative, they're still recommending that you stay at home for the full seven days. And if you decide not to be tested, you should stay at home for 14 days after you travel. As you know, there has been big arguments that the CDC is treating cruise lines unfairly. We have called them out for not enforcing the same rules for other travel methods, such as airlines and trains. Just this week, a report was released by New Zealand scientists where four people contracted COVID on a long-haul flight. It really shows that it does spread, especially on those long-haul flights. And in another report by Irish scientists, 13 of only 49 passengers on a seven-hour flight from Dublin tested positive for COVID-19. And then another 46 who came in contact with them after. Even with the air being replaced every few seconds, the reports release that it still does happen. People are still contracting the virus on board. And what's more concerning is that the flights were super quiet with very few passengers. So being seated up to four rows away from each other. As you remember, a few airlines did some tests to check whether or not COVID would spread, but these were deeply flawed in our opinion. They used dummies as passengers, they did not move, touch their masks or even take their masks off to eat and drink. As you know, this is really not realistic. Just last week on a flight, we saw people with masks around their chins, hanging off their noses, long lines for toilets and eating for an hour or two without their mask on. So on a seven hour flight sat six inches away from somebody, there is no way you can be safer than social distancing on a big cruise ship at 50% capacity. And over 50 million people are planning to fly and travel other places in the USA for Thanksgiving. But they still believe that cruise is the dangerous form of transport. It's just complete and utter madness. And what we want to reiterate is that our problem with the CDC guidelines is that it's a double standard for cruise. It's attacking crews but it's not doing the same rules for airlines yeah so we have no problem with the cdc rules of being not able or not being able to sail it's just the fact they're letting everything else go by with no protocols in place it's just crazy on a lighter note though lots of cruise lines are now announcing black friday deals norwegian are offering 30 percent off any cruise fare you'll also receive all five of the cruise lines free at sea offers this includes free drinks free specialty dining shore excursion credits, free Wi-Fi and discounted rates for friends and family. Royal Caribbean are offering instant savings off cruise fares. On sailings five nights or less, there's $75 off interior and ocean view cabins, $100 off balcony staterooms and $200 off suites. For cruises six nights or longer, get $100 off interior and ocean view cabins, $150 off balconies and $400 off suites. Carnival are offering up to 30% off cruise fares. And if you book with Princess Cruises, you can take advantage of 50% reduced deposits and receive up to $200 on board credit per cabin. There's also great deals from MSC, Holland America, Virgin Voyages and most other cruise lines. They all have some great deals, so it's a really good time to support cruise and get booking now with some great deals. Yeah, and don't forget, some of these cruise lines are offering bookings up to 2022 as well. So if you did want to wait a little bit to uh, see how things pan out, you can always book 
a lot further down the line. So in other news, Norwegian have extended their peace of mind booking policy. The peace of mind policy will be extended to include existing and new reservations made by December 31st, 2020. For any voyage from January 2021 to October 31st, 2021. The policy also allows you to cancel for a future cruise credit or full refund up to 15 days before you cruise. And they're also extending their 60-day final payment policy to include all cruises through to June 30th, 2021. The normal standard final payment date would usually be 120 days before you sail. So this is half that. So you can pay up to 60 days before you set sail. So that's it for this episode. Let us know what you think about cruise coming back. Do you think we're getting closer and closer with a vaccine? And remember from earlier on, would you cruise with a vaccine or would you choose not to have the vaccine? It's up to you, but let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Hitting that subscribe button helps us get more content for you guys. And we have so much on the way. So please don't forget that subscribe button, please. Big thank you to all of our patrons for supporting us. You can find out more about Patreon in the description section below. Our captain of the week is Raymond. So ahoy Ahoy. there, Raymond. That's it till next time. Happy Happy cruising. cruising.